So my last three wires at my ignition harness are my actual ignition, which is right here. I got the starter. So I want to actually take these ignitions time into this one. So I'll have one connection over here, my starter wire. And there's another wire over there, that green, this stripe on it, the red stripe, which is the the MUX wire. I'm gonna bring that on in there. I'm gonna use wire taps for these because they're really up in there. It's kind of hard to see and get onto them. So in lieu of actually just stripping them back and insulating them and sticking them in there, I'm just gonna do a clip on. So if you look over here, this is my toolbox tray. These are the males, which I'm gonna use. These are gonna determine on the, be the terminals on the end of the wires from the Evo. And these guys, they have different sizes, you know, for 12 gauge, 18 gauge, all different ones. Um, the way it works is that this guy clicks onto the wire, and then right there's a slot where this slides right into the hole. So you got your male and you got your female right there. And to reverse it, you just pull them out. So here's those connections, those terminals I was telling you about. Since the wires in the ignition harness are 18 gauge, I'm going to go with these blue ones. And then over here, I've got some heavy gauge um, coming from the Evo for the starter and the ignition. So I'm going to use the yellows. Then I got a blue for the uh, MUX, the multiplex MUX MUX wire. So I'm going to go with the blue. It's another 18 gauge. I'm going to pair those all up. And I'm going to attach them onto the ignition harness right now. So if you want to see me do that, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So there's green, the red, that's my MUX. Things have a way of getting weird sometimes when you crimp them. So you make sure they're kind of like in the middle. So when you plug them on, they, they actually plug on. Now this pink is the ignition from the Evo's harness, and the two yellows that also needed to get ignition from the Evo. I ran that through, and I'm going to connect that right here. It's you can call it cheating. I call it getting to lunch quicker. So all I have to do now, pretty much, is just match these up onto the onto the ignition harness, like it's shown on the illustration. Ignition starter, mux, click, click, click. That's it. I just gotta program this guy, and this job is done. My Evo One installation is completely and officially done and over with. The only thing I might want to do later is I'm gonna add on my drone telematics kit. And in my own spare time, I'm going to add a shock sensor on here. I'm going to tinker with that. Um, I was told that a CompuStar First Tech will work in there. And if you're not going to use a CompuStar First Tech, that's okay. Um, I can relate, you know. But over here, left to right, that three-pin plug, working left to right would be you ground your negative trigger. And then you'd have your 12 volts on the right side. So working left to right, looking at the unit this way, would be ground, trigger, and 12 volts so if you're going to add a sensor in there just plug it right in there do it that way I was told anything 0.6 seconds and longer will trigger this system to go off should you have the alarm uh, system enabled which I do um, I'm going to add my drone once I get it plug it in there and utilize that so I can use my smartphone as well as my factory remote control and here's the uh, proof in the pudding after my programming was done which was a breeze I had a little hiccup I called Fortin Tech and I got some amazing service by the way so good job over there guys, here it goes. There you go, that's what you should see. What a joy to install, what a joy. These things work really good. And I'll tell you, for the money, um, the service that this company provides, it's, it's just excellent. It's hard to beat. 
this T harness, the service, the photos, the wire information, the guys over at this company, it's just fabulous. So I cannot recommend a product higher than this one right here. I just love this stuff. I'm glad it's in the car. It's a simpler, much more modern, sophisticated system. I'm sure I'm going to love the drone. I'll do a follow-up video to let you all know how it works and all the settings and the little gadgets and stuff you can do with it. So, uh, you know, I'll explore that with you all as well. So there you have it. There's my install. Done.